Welcome to Man Cave Garage Workshop. As many of you have seen in some of my other videos, I am a fan of the Ryobi brand of tools. And when you choose a uh, battery powered tool set, you end up sticking with that tool set for the long term because basically they've got you now that you've got the batteries, which are not cheap, you end up wanting to stick with that brand uh, so that you don't have a bunch of different uh, batteries uh, around. And you can easily replace those batteries uh, later when they when they start to go bad. <clears throat> so uh, I have a lot of Ryobi OnePlus tools. And just recently I went and bought a new uh, uh, drill and uh, hammer drill. And of course those came with a couple of batteries. Well, I happened to see this uh, battery charger uh, on sale when I bought those. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. And I thought I might as well just provide a review of this as well for those that are considering getting the same thing. Uh, so I did get this on sale. I will caveat that. Uh, it was about half price when I bought it. So uh, would I have paid full price for it? Uh, maybe not. Um, but I do have more than enough batteries to fill up this six pack. So I figured this is probably worth uh, getting. So with that, let's take a look at the uh, at the tool. Okay, so for the first thing I'll note, it is quite big. Uh, of course, it's holding six batteries, so uh, you need to make sure you have space for this thing. It can hang on the wall, so it does have a uh, some hooks on the bottom here where you can see that uh, you can put up a couple of nails and hang that right up on the wall. So there is always that option. <clears throat> Another thing I'll note is uh, I thought when I bought it that it would just automatically just charge all the batteries at the same time. So if you had a couple of ones that were running low, it would just start charging them. The reality is it only charges one at a time. So just be sure you know that when you buy it uh, without setting that same expectation that I had. Uh, I, I thought it'd be a problem, but really once you have them charged and you're keeping them charged, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, the other thing you know is leaving them on the charger. So it uh, it is a smart charger. So it does know when you have a full charge. So it's not continually to provide power to that battery. So it's not overloading that battery or getting it hot. So that's another important thing, especially since I keep these in the garage. Uh, the last thing I'll point out is there is a there is a USB port on here. So if you have, want to charge something like your phone while you're in the garage or in your workshop, uh, you have that uh, option as well. One thing I'll say too about these new Ryobi OnePlus batteries, I do like that it has the button that you can actually see how much charge you have. So when you hit that button, they'll charge and they'll light right up and tell you how much is in there. You can also see on top where these are lit up. It might be hard to see on the camera, uh, but basically you can see that the the lights on the top will tell you what's happening with each battery. And so a battery that's um, uh, red is uh, means that it's in, uh, but it's not charging. If it's blinking green, uh, then it's charging, and if it's uh, green, then it's charged. So, you, so when I first plugged them in, of course, I saw a bunch of red, didn't know what it meant. Uh, and I was a little concerned it wasn't working, but really that's the way it does work. It will only charge one at a time. So with that, I also want to talk a little bit about the drills that I got. So these did come as a pair and they came with two batteries that came with them. Uh, but the batteries are different sizes, so you want to be aware of that when you're buying the batteries. Um, you have these that are 18 volt, two amp batteries. Um, these are, are pretty powerful, they hold a lot of voltage. This is the older version of that. It doesn't have the, the check lights on it to see how much charges in it. So uh, I do like the new ones. And then you've got the four amp battery. So this provides a lot more power, uh, a lot more uh, durability and longevity to uh, using the tools. Some of the more powerful tools, you really want to have a battery like this one. Uh, it's very important because you'll run out pretty quick uh, on something like a, um, a saw. Uh, you really want to use one of these, but these are pretty heavy. So for the for the drills, you really don't need something of this size. For these drills, I will point out um, it's a pretty nice compact drill when you compare it to the old drill. So when you compare it to the old drill, you can see they're a lot shorter, which means you can get into a lot tighter spaces with these drills. And that goes for both the drill and the hammer drill. So these are much shorter. They're also brushless. So these are brushless, my old ones were not. So the brushless ones are theoretically gonna last longer. So uh, as far as how long they can go before they um, start heating up. 
it also drains the battery slower so theoretically the battery will last longer one thing i do like on these drills at least on the new ones that does have a light so you can see the light comes on uh, that is nice when you're in uh, tight spots that you can't get good lighting. Uh, I do like that feature. One thing that I wish it had that the old ones had is it does have a magnet on the bottom of these. So the old one had the magnet, the new ones do not. It's a small feature that I liked having on the old one. I did take advantage of it quite often. Uh, do I miss it on the new ones? It's probably too soon to tell to see if that's gonna really be something I'm really that worried about. So other than that, I do like the products that I got here. Uh, I've used them quite a bit since I bought them. I've had them a few weeks now, and uh, so far, so good. So I do recommend them. Uh, I, again, with from a price perspective, I always look for these on sale. You know, a lot of the box stores that, that carry Ryobi's and, and some of the outlet stores uh, do have sales quite often. So I typically am able to find them for a discount before it, rather than pay full price. So good luck with these. If you get these, I do recommend them, and uh, you know, don't forget to subscribe and uh, visit us on our website at mancavegarageworkshop.com.